Hey everyone, I'm Andy. And I'm Sean. And this is Battle of the Brews. Ooh, baby, better get a mop. Because this one spilled all over the kitchen floor. Mm, yes. Uh, while we're cleaning it up, we want to take this time to thank you, the viewers. If you like what we're doing, please hit subscribe. It really helps. If you love what we're doing, feel free to go to patreon.com slash commandersbrew and consider donating financially. That helps us make more shows just like this. But without further ado, let's get to the spite and glory deck tech for today's game. All right, so for this big matchup, I will be running a deck I like to call Casualties of a Thousand Year Storm. Uh, this is uh, featured on a recent episode of Commander's Brew, so you can go check that one out. Uh, check out that deck tech. But basically what's happening here is it's a Yidris deck. So Yidris is the commander, but our whole aim is trying to get Thousand Year Storm out and then cast Casualties of War and copy it as many times as we can. It's a lofty, ambitious goal but uh, there's a lot of fun to be had in here along the way. Uh, if we can unlock that achievement, uh, I will just be pleased as punch. Uh, and that will be considered a win for me. <laughs> uh, so, but there's a lot of stuff. We're cascading, we're storming, it's all kinds of crazy fun. Uh, for this matchup, I'll be bringing another recent deck from Commander's Brew. I'll be bringing Rada All Basics. Uh, my achievement unlocked is to maybe get all of my basics out before the game is done. I'm less hard on to that goal, but I just want to cast Rada, a lot of little creatures. My ultimate goal is to animate all those numerous lands and somehow give them some mass pump to finish my opponents in a humongous swing. And of course, fan favorite Alistair Forbes is returning and he has brought his uh, Ur Dragon five color dragons tribal deck. It's big, it's stompy, it's very scary and very fast and effective. Uh, you know and love it, it's dragons, it's magic. Rounding out the table, we've got Rob with us bringing his Cops deck. We've alluded to this show on the show before, but it's a deck where the captain of police is Marika Ree Barrett and all of his creatures are other detectives and police officers. He's going to enforce some very strict rules on the table. And if we don't like him, we can ask for his assistance to investigate. We can call the cops. <laughs> we can call the cops on each other. How long before we all snitch on each other? We'll see. Let's uh, get to the game. Yeah. Welcome to another episode. So excited to be here. We did our mulligans. We rolled the dice. The first player is... Alistair. No surprise. Always going first. Always going first. <laughs> Always. In life. Drop for turn, and I'm going to play Smoldering Marsh. Coming in tapped. Pass turn. This is a forest. Pass the turn. <clears throat> You're going to draw a card for turn here. Irrigated farmland. Uh, you may go, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. The cop deck. What's going on here? It's, uh... So just so you're aware, um, this deck is the Mirren Police Department. So um, everyone's allowed to put one land into play per turn. You oh, can no. draw one card per turn. That's fine. You're allowed to cast creatures. There will be no attacking. If you are attacked or there's a trespass, you can report to the police department and we will investigate the matter. Oh, wow. <laughs> is there any way I can get a permit to play more than one land a turn? Because I would like to do that. I mean, you can't apply for a permit. I'd have to take it up with the other citizens here in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Polluted Delta past turn. Oh, boy. So here's one land, and I guess I won't play another one, so I'll pass the turn. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Just playing a casual uh, Polluted Delta. Casual. Casual play Casual Delta. fetch. Casual fetch line dra uh, drafted in cons. Mm. Oh, you know, great. from back then. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Those yep. days. As part of our community outreach, we will be doing insight into the community. Um, if you play a green spell, uh, the police department will be drawing a card. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to be playing so many green cards. <laughs> yeah, I'll play a green card in a little bit here. It's, that's an insight insight into Can the I community. That's community. That... We're doing some research here. <laughs> oh, we just wow. want to find exactly what makes you tick. This is a great card. But wait, so the cops are I allowed... I didn't know that even existed. That is a good... The cops are allowed to draw extra cards, but the citizens aren't. Oh, one card per turn, sir. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, I'm going to spend a blue uh, and cast Ponder. Uh, look at the top three in my library, put them back in any order, and then I can shuffle my library. Here's the question. Will you shuffle? So that's not drawing a card. Okay, good. And then I draw a card after. Oh. Oh, boy. But I spent a card, so I'm. it's net. Sir, I, net I, game I, is I don't zero. see anything. If someone wants to report something, they can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to put these back on top this way, but I'm then going to shuffle. 
Uh, I'm going to then just play a land for turn and then pass. So, Alistair, feel free to go. All right. One land per turn. I'm going to play an Opulent Palace for turn, and then I'm going to pass turn. My favorite part about the cop deck is that Rob calls me Sir. That's actually, I really like that. It's nice. It's respectful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play a forest, and I'm going to cast a green spell. Uh, that's Wayward Swordtooth. Uh, it has a send, so once I get to... 10 permanents, I've got the city's blessing, and it allows me to play an additional land on each of my turns. Wow. Um, can't attack or block unless I have the city's blessing, so he won't become a real 5-5 for a little bit, but I'm allowed to play a second land. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> a little um, cough there. I got a little cough there. Cough, sir. <laughs> yeah. Someone just played an extra land. Is that... I just, I'm just saying, I just think you should look into it. We are... We're going to investigate the matter. Thank you very much. What yeah. a narc! What a friggin' narc! <laughs> and you draw a card, right, for his... I did already? Yeah. Because you investigated already. Oh, okay. I thought the citizens have each other's backs, Andy. I thought it's us against the cops. I think that for the purposes of the safety of the neighborhood, the cops should just know about the one thing that you he said. You know about his two cards he drew last turn, too, right? Sir, if you want to make a report, please do so. I'm reporting it. Who drew an extra card? Andy. Okay, we'll we'll investigate. Okay, sure, the great, sure, the statute of limitations hasn't expired on that. It's Pass the been a couple Thank turns. You so much, sir. I just want to be clear. I'm not a narc. Okay, I didn't. I didn't tell anyone. Good. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> the Orzov signet. I'm going to tap to uh, bring out Ronald White. He's a precinct six. Oh yeah, Ronald, Ronald White. White. Yeah. Um, and you may go, sir. Okay. What, what, are the, what are the Ronald White's details? So um, he gets plus one, plus one for each creature in your opponent's graveyard. He doesn't like murder. And the more people that are murdered on his beat, the more powerful he becomes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I played a land, and I played Cultivate, and then I will pass the turn. Yo, look what's happening over here. <laughs> Cultivate, that's a couple of lands. Sir, listen, the cops are very busy. We can't deal oh with my God. every random complaint. <laughs> if you want to come into the station... You're welcome to. Oh my talk, God. Talk uh, I'm going to play Path of Ancestry, one of my favorite lands. It can add one mana of any color in my mech, Commander's uh, color identity, which is all of them, Wooburg. Uh, and when that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. Anyway, I'm going to cast uh, Explosive Vegetation Patch Dirt. Here we go. <laughs> That's the green spell. Search my library for two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield. So, tap. did you put three lands into the battlefield this turn? Uh, just one. Uh, two from Explosive Vegetation and that other one? Well, I've passed the turn. We'll, we'll see what playing happens. Playing a land. <laughs> Playing an extra land, as I understand it, is different than getting one from a spell. So I don't know if that actually should count. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play my land for turn. I'm going to play a second land for turn because Wayward Sword Tooth lets me. Screw everybody. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a third land into play because I'm going to cast the Adventure side of Beanstalk Giant, which <gasps> puts a land into play. And I get to... He's on his adventure, so he's exiled right now. But later on, I'll be able to... Play him as a star star, which is equal to the number of lands I control. I put three lands into play this turn. Screw everybody. Citizens be rampant. <laughs> you know what? I'm my own person. <laughs> I don't have the city's blessing. I can't attack. You don't have the city's blessing, that's for sure. I will get it once I get to ten permanents. Yeah, you will. You cannot change now, that. Now, officer, once yeah. he has the city's blessing, yeah. isn't that, does that affect your work at all? No, not at all. You know, just because um, the mayor says this guy is an upsetting citizen, he still has to abide by the laws. Ah, uh, that makes <laughs> sense. Yeah. You know what? I, I respect that. No yeah. one's above the law. I'm going rogue. No one is above the law. I'm going rogue. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of Wow, this. just <laughs> admitting it in front of a police I am. officer. I Anarchy. Am. I am. Anarchy rules. Rev, ev, ev, reclamation Sage hitting that insight so you can't yes. keep drawing cards. So you will get one off well, of yeah. Reclamation okay. Sage, but you won't get any further ones. Wow. Smashing police property. Pass the turn. <laughs> yeah, fight the power. Down with the men. Yeah, easy for you to say, you snitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I support this movement. <laughs> So um, we have had some violence in the city yes, so we far. We, uh, you know, most of this has been bylaw infractions, putting extra lands, trying extra cards. <laughs> you know, we're all we're going to investigate that. But there was actually vandalism to the police station, so we are going to investigate in a more serious way. The chief is now here, Merrick Ree Barrett. Oh, the chief! <laughs> oh man! Wow. I know. So you're going to prismatic lens. We'll be looking very closely into these events. <laughs> prismatic. 
All right. And you put a quarter in, you get a prize from That's it. right, sir. <laughs> okay, great. The prize is justice. You know what I would say about what we're doing right now is everyone's playing creatures. We're all playing lands. No one's attacking. This is what I live for in magic. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying ourselves, having a good time. I just want peace and I want order. I'm going to transmute Ethereal Usher for one blue blue, which means I can search, uh, discard this card, search a library for a card with the same converted mana cost, which is six. Whoa. Um, reveal it. Put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Thousand Year Storm. Ooh. Ooh. A spicy, and a spicy one. This one copies all your spells, is that right? Whenever, uh, this I, I don't get to put it into play yeah. yet, um, but if I do cast it and it does resolve, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before it this turn, and you can choose new targets. Ooh, yes. That sounds like it's probably against bylaws, so I'm all for it. <laughs> let's let's break the chains of society's laws. I am a gruel deck. I am you are anarchistic. Like, you are, <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, then I'm gonna drop a Rakdos Carnarium, bounce in this island, and pass the turn. Oh yeah. Uh, before I play my cards, I would like to mention that uh, there is a police of the table, which is great. But I guess there's no police of the actual rules because I actually cheated last turn by just tapping my polluted delta for mana. So just want you to know, in retrospect, <sighs> I took a life and actually searched up an eye. <laughs> okay, oh, thank you. you took <laughs> a life. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Haven the Spirit Dragon, I'm gonna play for turn for Urza's Incubator. As Urza's Incubator enters the battlefield, choose creature type dragons and creature spells of the chosen type cost two less to cast. Whoa, that'll be dragons. That's cheap. And your does the Ur Dragon make things cheaper already? Yes, the Ur Dragon. Of eminence. Yes, eminence. It means uh, as long as the Ur Dragon is in the command zone or on the battlefield, other dragon spells you cast cost one less to cast. So all, all your dragons cost three less. Three less to That's cast. Too bad. Cheap. Not That's bad. Too cheap. It's not Very cheap. Not bad. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pay two for a green spell, Steely Resolve, as it enters the battlefield. Uh, <laughs> choose a creature type, dragons. Uh, creatures of the chosen type can't be the targets of spells or abilities. So I believe that's Shroud. 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 It's Shroud. More than Hexproof. Mm. More than, and uh, and then I'm going to tap two and play Dermoka the Internal for two. Ooh. Green and white. Uh, and he's a 5-5, five, five, but whenever a dragon I control attacks, I bolster two. Great. Uh, yeah, pass turn. Here's my one land for the turn. I have the City's Blessing. May, the mayor has given you the key to the city. <laughs> the mayor has given me the key to the city. Foolish move, because I am an anarchist. Imagine giving uh, 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 like a violent, <laughs> radical anarchist the key to the city. <laughs> you represent the city's best. Yeah. And city council would like to specifically recognize it you. It feels like the mayor is not on the police side. <laughs> you got a 1-1 one, one, and a 1-1 one, one over there, Rob? Yes, I do. Okay, so for snitching, five at you, Andy. Uh, and two at you, Rob. Attacking! I I report! 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 So everyone's taking the damage? Yeah. Uh, and then I will... Back from his adventure. It was a great adventure. The Beanstalk mm -hmm. Giant came back. Uh, lots to report. Lots of great adventures. I learned a lot of great techniques of how to, like, instigate riots and things like that. Oh, that's fun. Uh, yeah. That's the adventure he's on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. Who was he with on this adventure? A bunch of provocateurs. <laughs> 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 Provocateurs. Oh, cool. Bunch uh, of French anarchists. So cool, cool. his power is star star, uh, which is the number of lands I control. So right now, eight, eight, eight. Past turn. Uh, Mr. Hall, you were saying that um, something happened to you last turn. I got attacked. <laughs> you got attacked. Do you know who? It was him. You think it was this gentleman? I know it was him. Okay, we're not going to go and arrest people. This isn't, you know, we're not the secret police, but we will. We'll, we're not talking to go and people. arrest people. Um, I'm going to um, ask the Beanstalk Giant to come into the precinct so we can interview him. If he knows anything about what he, happened. He doesn't want to. I'm sorry he is compelled to. <laughs> He's going to come visit us and we're going to have a quick conversation with him. Am I under arrest? Am I being detained? <laughs> yes, you are. Am sorry. I being detained? <laughs> no. On what grounds? On the grounds that we are doing an investigation and you're refusing to speak to the police. What char am, I, am I being charged? I'm not being charged, Am I being sure. charged? Then I'm going home. Okay, well, <laughs> that's not the rules of the game, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Um, we also talked to our good friend, the Vizier, who's uh, coming. The Vizier of Tumbling Sands, what's yes. he do? Um, he can untap another target permanent. Okay. Oh. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, some of these laws are uh, problematic and, you know, you know, 
people are getting this the seized blessing when they shouldn't. And sometimes they need an errata. I know that's not the name of the card, but for this game, it is. Errata the silencer is here. Uh, we're going to change up some of these laws to make sure that uh, everyone's feeling safe and feeling comfortable here. These attacks are uncalled for, and we'll get to the bottom of the service. What, is, what does errata do? Can't be blocked uh, when you attack you um, or anyone. Um, you put a hit counter on a creature, they are exiled. If you have three creatures exiled with a hit counter, you lose the game. Okay. Now Prime the, doesn't pay. Uh, of course, important thing is that Arata gets shuffled back into your deck, though, right? After each exile counter goes on it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. Feels like you're discovering this for the first time. No, I know the rules. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, second question. The Chief how the chief um, is going to question the Beanstalk Giant until the chief untaps? Is that the way it works? So, it, um, uh, no. This character never untaps. Gotcha. Yeah. She's always at work. She's always going through the files. She never takes a break. But if you use your other, it, your vizier, yeah. it dies. It dies. Ah, gotcha. Okay, great. Four mana to cast Yidris. Ooh. Mm. Maelstrom mm. Wielder is a 5-4 with Trample. And whenever Yidris deals combat damage to a player, uh, as you cast spells from your hand this turn, they gain Cascade. Ah, uh, great. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, for turn, I'll put in a uh, Cascading Cataracts. For decks, I'm going to tap three mana for Savage Ventma, because he's three cheaper than six, which wow. is great. Then I'm going to go to attacks. What and, does Savage Ventma do? Right. Uh, Savage Ventma is a 4-4 four, four flying dragon. Whenever Savage Ventma attacks, add red, 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 green, green, green to my mana pool until end of turn that mana doesn't uh, disappear from my mana pool. Uh, so I will go to attacks, and as a law-abiding citizen, I'm going to do all I can to make sure that they're to support the police here, and I'm going to come at the anarchist over here for uh, five damage in the air, which will trigger a bolster, too. Well, okay, so if that's happening, though, I'm going to respond to that. Yeah, absolutely. So, what, to the bolster? Well, okay, to, like, they've you got Shroud, it. remember. They've they both, got Shroud. They both have Shroud. Sure, just no just problem, saying, no saying. problem, but I will not stand, like, if you're coming at me, I will spend a green, uh -oh. and I will Mystic Repeal your Shroud enchantment. Put it on the bottom of your library, Ooh. please. Ooh. Now we can all get at you. Um, I did not destroy it. I just made you put it on the bottom of your library. Sir, I would like to report a crime. I was trying to enact some vigilante justice. And, uh, that's a crime. Uh, that's a crime, sir. That's a crime. That's a crime. No, no, no. Are you to help confessing you to, help you out. to attacking someone? I doing vigilante to help you out. Sir, you're not a deputy. And then he attacked. You're not a deputy, sir. I'd like to be deputized. Um, <laughs> we're going to investigate this matter very carefully next turn. Oh, that's... Uh-oh. <laughs> Pastor... <laughs> You know, I for one support the police. Uh, I, I tried. I, you know, a lot of people are out here saying a lot of bad stuff about the police, and I for one don't agree with it at all. Idris, uh, known weasel. <laughs> known weasel. I'm going to pay three to cast a Life Crafter's Bestiary. Mm. At the beginning of my upkeep, I get to scry one, and whenever I cast a creature spell, I can pay green, and if I do, I get to draw a card. I'm going to cast my commander, Grand Warlord Rada, and I will pay the extra green to draw a card. Grand Warlord Rada, 3-4 haste. Whenever one or more creatures you control attacks, add that much mana in any combination of red and green until the end of turn, like Savage Ventma. I don't lose that mana until the end of my turn. Hostile board, no good attacks past the turn. Thank you so much, sir. The chief will not untap. Very good, very good. We're having a nice time here. Okay, so um, first things first, we got some new equipment here in the force. It's a Heliod Sun Crowd. Crowd. Uh, Whoa, that gives nice um, Heliod. Wow, you. really nice Heliod. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you gain life, you put a plus one plus one counter on target creature enchantment you control, and I can give creatures um, lifelink, which is obviously very exciting for us. <laughs> Um, great. Well, I'm, I'm really excited to uh, investigate this matter about the vigilante justice. No, the matter was that he destroyed one of my... I did not destroy it. I, on you... the record, I would like to go, I did not destroy anything. I put a thing on the bottom of your library. Is that not against law? Putting one of my... Sir, we're dealing on the... with one matter of time. You oh. came into the police station and said that you committed an act of vigilante terrorism, and we're going no, to investigate justice. it. justice. Justice. Yeah. So, sir, um, we have a... You six, pretty much six... told the cops that you did it. Exile is Ventma with your friggin' Etrata now that he's that not hexproof. Sir? Okay. We got this matter. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Beanstalk Giant, come at you. He has, um, he has lifelink. And he's a 6-6? Six, six? He's a 6-6, six, six, sir. Wow, that's... Uh, I tried to support the police, but this is turning me into an anarchist. 
I'll take six damage. Great. I'm going to attack with the with the attraction. I don't need okay. to, sir. I'm going to put a counter on one of my creatures. Uh, great. Um, thank you so much. So on your end step, I'm going to cast Mystic t- Mystical Tutor. Ooh. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to get, but the name of this deck is Casualties of a Thousand Year Storm. So there's only one card I'm allowed to get. Um, and until I have both of them in my hands, I can't tutor for anything else. So <laughs> I absolutely must. And, like, trust me, there's way better cards for me to get. <laughs> Uh, especially considering what I'm uh, what I'm seeing on the board here and what I have in my own hand, but I must get Casualties of War. It is the point of this deck. I love it. What, and what is Casualties of War? Casualties of War is two black, black, green, green for a sorcery that says choose one or more, destroy target, artifact, creature, enchantment, land, planeswalker. Great. So yeah. you choose all of them if they're available. This is how Yidris, the snitch, deals with things. <laughs> Known informant, weasel. <laughs> Known in oh, and this Casualties of War goes on the top of my library. That's what Mystic uh, Mystical Tutor does. And then I draw it. That's how it works. I'm going to play this forest. And then I'm going to say, hey, Officer whatever. Jablonski? <laughs> Jablonski. <laughs> Related to former Tampa Bay Lightning goaltender Pat Jablonski. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You could have chosen any name. Any name. And you go with Officer Jablonski. I for chose the... my name, sir. Okay. <laughs> now. <laughs> As a, as a known informant and helper when it comes to keeping the peace, um, I want to help even more. Mm-hmm. I want to do as much as I can. But we need to go in a little undercover here. We need to go mm. in a little bit of a sting operation. Mm-hmm. So it's going to need to look like mm-hmm. that I've damaged the police station to draw out the other criminals. Okay. So what I'm asking for yes. is may I attack you with Yidris, get through... And then not attack you with the address anymore. No. For the rest of the <laughs> No, you can't attack the police station. It's only going to look like that. No, it's not going to look like that. It's only going to look like that. five damage. That's insane. No, just sir. For, just for this turn. No, sir. Hey, man, come on. <laughs> I need the fix, baby. Come on. I need the help. <laughs> I just tutored for a casualties of war, man. Oh, man. This is, wow. This is getting real. I love this. The cops are no, of no help to me. Yeah, man, the cops don't help you anybody. Know, it turns out maybe I've been helping the wrong people. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I, maybe. Remember when I did vigilante justice for the cops? So I'm going to turn to my two newfound allies. <laughs> oh, no way, sir. What do you think about letting <laughs> old Yidris come on in no. unscathed? <laughs> Nuh-uh, you can, sir. Uh, at this, uh, no, no, you, you can, uh, like, no. Because <laughs> it's going to benefit us as a group, guys. I don't, no. I don't feel like it is. No. And the You've shown your colors. stands alone. <laughs> Uh, I'm attacking Sean. Uh, I'll block with my 5-5. Five five. Sure. Retreat. Okay, now I will cast Thousand Year Storm. And pass Oh, turn. I see. That's a nice cascade. Okay, so I'm going to tap uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh. Because the Ur Dragon is too less to cast because of Urza's Incubator. So... Whenever one or more dragons I control attack, draw that many cards, then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. I will go to attacks. Okay, hold on a second, sir. Uh, so th- we have lost some people here. So, sir, um, we have been having a lot of violence in the streets. We do need to talk to some of your people. So, what? Um, the vizier is going to untap the chief. Nope. Unfortunately, the beanstalk giant has uh, lost his life okay. um, on the beat. While in no on the beat. Well, sorry, yeah. he was brought in under the the, 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 the protection beanstalk. of the police department. While he was turning state witness, um, he was attacked and he was killed. We are looking <laughs> by <for> who? Who? <laughs> Conspiracy? Yeah, the police are corrupt. Hey man, I know what this guy's all about. Okay, I've been inside that station. I've so, seen it in there, man. So um, we will be talking to the savage... Um, to the savage Ventma. Ventma. We're going to ask them in as a witness to see exactly what happened last term. Wow! To see exactly what happened. Watch out, that savage Ventma Ventma. might not come back. So we're talking with him right now, and he says, I've always wanted to join the police force. Can I apply? And we said yes. He is now a police officer. You know that when he does this, he just gets another dragon for free, right? I thought it'd be mean to take his commander. Okay, sure. (laughs) Again, you kill it right away. You kill it whenever you want. You know, it's whatever. Yeah, you you totally, like, do whatever. (laughs) Well, okay, well, that's um, mean and... Annoying, and it feels corrupt, almost. The law isn't nice. The law is just. Wow. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to attacks. 
Yeah, you may try. And I will attack the police with Dromoka, which will put a couple triggers on the stack. First, it will bolster two to my least powerful dragon, which will make this guy a 7-7. Seven, seven. Mm -hmm. Then uh, then I will, uh, whenever dragon I control, draw that many cards. Then I may put a permanent card from my hand on the battlefield. So I'll draw that many cards. A permanent. Yeah. And the only permanent if I have in my land, hand that's a break in the rules. is Scion of the Ur dragon, uh, yeah. which will go in. And I will... Yes. So what's Scion do? Uh, Scion of the Ur dragon, which used to be the commander of the stack until this great one. This is um, uh, the pup of the Ur dragon. Uh, I can pay two and search my library for a dragon card and put it into my graveyard. If I do, then Scion of the Ur dragon becomes a copy of that card until end of turn, then shuffle your yes. library. Right. Um, we're going to take six damage. Seven. Seven damage. Do you know what happens when you kill a cop, sir? <laughs> Are you aware of what happens when you try and kill a cop? I, I, I don't think I killed a cop, though. You go to jail, and you are a hero there. <laughs> You're celebrated in the streets. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's like all the way one way or all the way the other way. We're either, we're either arresting and murdering people in prison, or we're killing cops. <laughs> There's no middle ground oh, here. Oh, no, no. We're, we're, not a, we're not a battlefield of, mo of moderation. <laughs> Past turn. <laughs> okay, so I get my scry trigger from my bestial. That's a bottom. So red attacks to get mana. The only open attack is Andy. But I don't think... Like, I would only be getting two at this point, and I already have so much up that that two doesn't change anything. So I think I'm just going to hold the fort for a little bit and pass the turn. Thank you, sir. Chief does not untap. I'm going to draw a card for turn. Wow, an evolving wild. Very nice card. <laughs> <laughs> the cops have fairly low standards when it comes to them. It's very nice. It's very nice card, sir. Very nice card. Just in case there are any actual police officers watching, uh, I respect the police. I think you do a great job. Just, <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. You know, there's corruption in every industry. <laughs> now who's the snitch? <laughs> Okie dokie. <clears throat> oh, um, the Savage Vent Maw and the White of Precinct 6. Savage Vent Maw will be attacking... Um, you, Mr. Forbes, and the um, White of Precinct 6 will be attacking you, Mr. Hull. Okay. We need to figure out how big the White of Precinct 6 so is. So how many creatures in your graveyard? Zero. Two here. Zero. Two. So it's a 4-4? Four, four. Um, I have a 10 town flyer, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So I will block with the 10 town flyer, even though it might be a dumb idea. Great. I'm going to give them um, both lifelink. I mean, I don't know why the cops have all of a sudden decided to turn on their own guy. <laughs> Sir, I never attacked the police. Sir, we're just we're just investigating. Oh, uh, well, this is police brutality. So I will get um, six mana into my um, mana pool. Yeah, that's and great. Green. And um, this gentleman unfortunately dies. Sir, enjoy your turn. Okay, thank you. We're getting to the bottom of this. You know, breaking apart rings like this is very complicated. It takes a lot of work. <laughs> it's not going to happen in one turn. Hmm. This is a it's a tough board here because the police are really sort of you know. Uh, controlling what's happening here, and uh, in order to to try and do uh, trying to defend ourselves as humble citizens, the, the police to turn us against each other, right? Yeah. Like, and I and I don't yeah. want to, but in order to, you know, fight back, we must do what we we have to do what what we can. I just want to be clear, Mr. Hall, there is no officer here on the board that forces people to attack. People have chosen to attack on their own accord, and we're just investigating the matter. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, uh, that's your version of the of That's of the things. truth. That's what the law says. Um, I can't wait till we go to court about this and find out how the ruling is. I hope the judge arrives soon. So you got a judge in there? No, you can't have a judge in there. That's not you can't team up that way. Yeah. <laughs> the okay. police can't team you're up. You're already with getting a nice mana reduction from your thing, and you're getting a bunch of free stuff. So I think it's not that bad that I'm going to blow up your Urza's incubator. <laughs> yep. Okay. I mean, it's, it's fair. It's, it's fair. just so I can get an extra little trigger here. Storm count of one. So the storm count is one, and I'm going to cast then. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot cast a signature spell. I don't have the right mana for it, but uh, I can cast Genesis Storm. Um, it's a, a six mana spell that's a sorcery. When I cast a spell, copy it for each turn uh, you've, uh, sorry, copy it for each time I've cast my commander from the command zone this game. I reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal a non land permanent card. Uh, and I can put that into play, uh, uh, put that card on the battlefield. Then put all cards revealed that way that weren't um, in a random order on the bottom. So, 
this is gonna I play I get one from this I get one from the copy from Yidris that I've because I've already played it once but Thousand Year Storm copies the original so you get three total I get three of total that effect. that's cool wow. that's cool okay yeah. right uh, perfect okay so Genesis Storm we're gonna flip until we get a non-land permanent we got a soul ring number nope. one number one do it again we got a Wayfarer's bobble. <laughs> Number three. We're doing really good here. Uh, we got a Lightning Greaves. <laughs> okay. You're running a pawn shop. This is, this is, we just like, we gotta scrounge together what we can. Okay? We gotta find the things that are going, we gotta sell these off. I gotta get a little bit of scratch together. I tell you, any, any small bit of stuff I can do. Why did you do that big mall about the police first? <laughs> Listen. The police out of control. We gotta stop them. You bring them. I'm just like, can I sell? How much are these worth? Well, there was... I managed to steal these from some other poor people. What can I do? I found these old boots. <laughs> hey, this. Uh, what about this old bobble? Uh, oh man, you, you spent six on the sorcery, copied three times to get four. To get CMC four mana worth of stuff. <laughs> Um, oh, so we will put them all into play. <laughs> you will. We will. We will put them all into play. That's got to be one of my favorite um, whiffs of all time. I'm going to soul ring away this Wayfarer's bobble though. Yeah. And get a basic land. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. And uh, I'm going to pass the turn. I feel good. I'm going to pass the turn on that. I'm going to pass the turn there. Oh, that is... It's like it's doing it all. Wonderful oh, for so many reasons. Well, okay, I'm gonna go to attacks. Great. The vizier is gonna untap the chief. Yeah. And the chief is going to take. Um, now, your... is the chief gonna target this? No, I'm going to take um, your commander. Mm. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>, never mind. <laughs> well, like, oh no, are you gonna target? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Scion, Scion, you know, Scion's got sneaky tricks, but yeah. the commander has fewer sneaky tricks. Yeah, totally. Uh, great. <clears throat> so much. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Okay. Then so I will... your combat step. Go to attacks. Change my attacks of what I thought I was going to do. I'm going to... Because uh, someone <laughs> took my commandy. I'm going to come at Sean here with Dromoka the Eternal, which will trigger a uh, thing. I think it's just... Just a case of uh, spreading the love around, you know sure. what I mean? Sure. Okay. Well, how, so how big is Dramoka? He's a 7-7. Seven, 7-7. Seven. Seven, seven. Take 7. Okay. I'm going to go to my second main phase, and I'm going to pay uh, 5 to cast Crux of Fate to destroy all non-dragon creatures. Boo. All right. <laughs> destroy all non-dragon creatures. No response? No response. Uh, and then I will pay two to cast Farseek. Search my library for a island, swamp, mountain, or plains, and pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I will flash in for six. Great Oak Guardian, flash, reach. When it enters the battlefield, creatures, target player controls, gets plus two, plus two until I turn and untap them. I'll pick myself. I'll untap my own creatures. I will pay the extra one to draw a card from Life Crafter's Bestiary. In a tap three to cast a burnished heart, I will pay the extra for Life Crafter's Bestiary. Heliot is not a creature. No. So I will attack you, Rob, with my four or five. You take four. I'm going to pass the turn. At the end of turn, I'm going to sacrifice this Evolving Wilds to get an island. I'm going to cast Into the Story for four to draw four cards. I'm going to cast a Brainstorm from Ice Age. <laughs> Brainstorm from Ice Age. Yeah. Draw three cards. What if we had a what if we had a machine that helped melt all this ice? That's a brainstorm from the ice age. Brainstorm from ice age. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what if we built our houses on top of the glaciers? Hey, you guys like cold fish? Well, I mean, the, that's asking someone if someone likes something. Yeah, well, Is that it's a, a brainstorm. Guy, it's a ba it's a there's still dumb people back in ice age, so it's a dumb people dumb person trying to uh, you know what it is? It's a dumb person who thinks it's a brainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Alistair to represent the voice of the dumb. <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to cast that Gilded Lotus for five. That taps to add three mana of any mana to my mana pool. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do that because so many of the police died. 
we need someone to look into it. Mm. Did and there's, really? there's no better person to do that than Gideon's Avenger. His Avenger. They're going to get to the bottom of this and find exactly what happened. When you're ready, Mr. Hull, you can take your turn. What's the, um, what's, what's the, the yeah, what's the part of this? What is that? Is that just a tapper? He's a 2-2. Two -two. And whenever a creature taps from my opponent, I get a plus one, plus one counter. Whenever a creature taps. Taps. Becomes tapped. Wow. Becomes tapped. Okay. Mm. We all agree that Alistair's Wrath really slowed down the momentum of the game and kind of ruined it for everyone, right? <laughs> really? I, I think we all agree that, that Alistair's Wrath took out a corrupt police force. Sorry, who's asking? I am. The, pol the police asking? Am I being detained? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Sir, I'm just trying to ask you a simple question. Am here. I being detained? <laughs> Sir, am I being detained? There's no need to do am this. Am I being detained? <laughs> Sir, it's not necessary. And then I'm going to continue to play frisbee golf if I'm not being <laughs> That felt like a dig at me, okay? <laughs> I love disc golf. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cast the address. Um, I'm going to equip the Greaves. Um, I played a Rakdos Guildgate for a turn, and I'm going to attack the police. Okay, take the damage. Uh, yep, five. Yep, five commandy. Five commander, and then here's the saddest thing of it all: pass the turn. Ooh, go to my attack step. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't say my name. No, I'm not. I'm not coming up, Sean. I'm gonna come at uh, uh, the police with Jamoka the Eternal and Sign of the Ur Dragon, and this guy is a six six seven. So, so it has to be this guy. So he will be an eight eight when he attacks. So an eight eight and a seven seven. So yes. I'm taking. Uh, 15 damage. Currently. Okay. Okay. Uh, before damage happens. Oh, you're going to transform Scion? <gasps> Indeed I am. Scion shenanigans. Oh, no. Okay. Now, just give me a Could second this here. Be the end of the police? <laughs> oh, if it is, Gruul stands to rise up. I uh, found Dragonlord Ojitai, which is going to go to my graveyard because of that, but it's going to make uh, Scion of the Earth Dragon a copy of that until end of turn. Uh, whenever Dragonlord Ojutai deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. So uh, because of that, this guy will gain one more toughest because he'll become a 5-4. So it'll be 9 damage plus the 7. So it'll be 16 damage 16 total. Damage. I'll get a shuffle. I'm going to draw the top three and look at one. Okay, great. So I'm going to put this card into my hand. I don't have to reveal. I'm going to put these two on the bottom of my library. Now, for super fun, I'm going to cast... Mm, super fun. Mm, it doesn't feel very fun. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, Blade Wing the Risen. I've got Ooh. two swamps and two things. Oh, and also when I tap Path of Ancestry, and I, I've missed this rigor so many times, I scry one because I've used it to cast a dragon spell and put that on the bottom of my library. Nice. What's Blade Wing do? So when Blade Wing the Risen enters into play, you may return target dragon card from your graveyard to play. Ojitai themselves. And then uh, I can play pay black and red, and all dragons that get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And is, is Ojitai the one that is hexproof until it's tapped? Yes, it's got a hexproof as long as it is untapped. Yeah. And I'm going to pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to crack this burnished heart to get two mountains. Ooh. Mm. So we're, we are doing an outreach into the community right now to see if someone can deal with these dragons. Um, <laughs> They are a menace to society, and we do need to have some kind of um, civilian involvement here. <laughs> oh, you need a civilian involvement? Yeah. You are brutalizing us as a people. We've we've talked to the mayor. We tried to get some martial law in place. They're having some difficulty mobilizing the army. <laughs> the army? You tried to call in the army and right we'd, away? We'd like to de deputize some people here. I would like to be deputized. You cannot I be deputized, that, I said it sir. Earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay an additional green as I cast Viridian Emissary to draw a card from Lifecrafter's Bestiary. Viridian Emissary is a 2 1 that when it dies, I get to search for a land and put it into the battlefield tapped. Six mana with that green tax. Love that green tax <laughs> to pay play. Multani, Yavamaya's avatar. Draw a card from that. Multani has reach and trample, uh, and is gets plus one plus one for each land I control and each land in my graveyard. I keep forgetting about that part. None right now. Uh, one and a green return two lands to their owner's hand, and I can bring this back from my graveyard. So right now, Multani is a ten ten. 
Multani is a 10-10 reach. Trample. Hmm. Reach. Trample. And I, do, you know what? Hmm. Actually, I haven't played a land yet. I will do that. Make that an 11-11. Wow. Let's make that a cool 11-11. My only eligible attacker is Great Oak Guardian, and I don't see any good attacks. Uh, I could attack you, Andy, but I feel like we're don't, we don't got any beef right now. Nope. Yeah, the three of us no don't to. have any beef. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the turn. Great job. One tap. Um... You, you're such a socialist. You love the green tax. I love the green tax. Yeah, you love, love it so tax. much. You're all about a green tax. Yeah. All about them cards. <laughs> all about them cards. You see the greater benefit to society with the green tax. <laughs> you're not one of these people who's very like, oh, taxes. I don't want to pay no taxes. I'm an anarchist who is like in a middle aged anarchist. Like, <laughs> I know that like a lot of society benefits me, but if there's a rule I don't like, I will lash out against <laughs> <laughs> the chief is back um a andy if i attack uh, these dragons if i try and investigate okay is he just going to attack me next turn do i have to have a defender am i going to attack you yeah well we could work out a thing where i attack you and it's for the better of the of the table to work that out mm. i can you, you said you needed some citizen involvement well guess what i need to attack to make that happen you need to attack me to make that happen you got 22 Oof, that's tough. I mean, you can block with something as long as it. No, that's you know terrible. what I mean? Like it's got, he's got trample, so you won't take a. That's terrible. You can block with your chief or whatever. Like, and like you're, that. but you're one pip away from Heliod being a creature. The fact that you said that makes me want to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you were like, I'm trying to help you out. You trying to help me out? So you, you got a blocker. Oh, sorry, are you gonna kill me next turn? Uh, oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> that is a guilty face. <laughs> I won't attack you this turn. You attack me this turn. Um, I mean, I don't care, care if you attack me because I'll take four damage. You know, I mean? five damage. Like that's the meanest thing I've ever heard anyone <laughs> say. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Are the cops' feelings hurt? <laughs> yeah. So we're trying hard to <laughs> keep everyone safe and have order. <laughs> okay. Well. I, I, I will say this that I don't I, I don't foresee um, you as the biggest threat right now, but I just need I need a definitive. Confirmation. No, I can't give you that. All right, sure. here we yeah. go, coming at you. Oh, well, that's an accident, but it happens. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is something the cops would do. We can't remember. We can't remember what his power is. <laughs> Sorry, Ali has to come at you. So it's, does that pump him up too, or is it other creatures only? Uh, what do you mean? No, it says when creatures become tapped, but is it other creatures? An opponent. Okay, controls. sorry. Yeah. So he's just a five-five. I will take five. I'm gonna give him life link. I'm nice. Just gonna gain Ooh, right. that life. Yeah. That was my only choice. Yep. Ever flowing chalice for for four. Okay. Somehow this all worked out. It's gonna work out just great for you, just it turns out. I think. <laughs> Anyways, I don't, don't want to speak too soon here, but like I've done a whole lot of jack squat in this game, so we'll see what what can happen this turn. Okay. Play command tower. I will attack the police. Can't do anything about it. I got to. I got to get in there. Police that takes is five commander. Okay, so I've attacked. I've hit Rob. Uh, Yidris has now given anything I cast this turn. From hand. From hand. Cascade. Ooh. So I will cast from my hand. Sleight of hand. Ooh, a little trickster. A little. Oh. Oh, I'm on the streets. I'm hustling for some money, baby. You know, I, I, I had to sell off those things. Sleight of hand, uh, single blue. I get to look at the top two cards of my library, put one of them into my hand, and the other on so the first bottom cascade. of my library. So first, he'll cascade. So I'll cascade into a zero mana spell, which I have none of in the deck. So we're just gonna. So. And does Thousand Year Storm copy the spell? It will copy. So, so it copies based on the storm count. This is storm count one, so it doesn't copy this yet. one. Yes. Gotcha. It'll copy storm the next spell. One. Right. So the next spell. Uh, and now I will cast Casualties of War. <gasps> Copied one. I did it, guys! Achievement unlocked. This is all I'm supposed to do. Good yes. game, everyone. Yes. Uh, we had a lot of fun here today. Yeah. The Casualties so first of a Thousand Years Storm. Right? First, we cascade. So we cascade into a s less than six, right? All uh, right. Okay, so we cascade right into the first card, which is Revel in Riches, which is pretty sweet. Pretty great. Oh, especially with Casualty of War getting copied. And of course, Revel in Riches is an enchantment that says whenever a creature an opponent controls dies. Uh, I create a colorless treasure token, and at the beginning of my upkeep, uh, if I control 10 or more treasures, I win the game. Alternate win con. There we go. Okay, you know I love them. Yeah. So now now the 
that is resolved first, so that'll see all these creatures that you target with casualties, which you yeah. are copying once. Right, which I'm copying once. Uh, but with casualties of war on the stack, uh, I'm going to cast <gasps> Fury Storm. Fury Storm! What is Fury Storm? So Fury Storm is uh, when I cast a spell, you copy it for each time my commander's been cast. So that is twice now. And I caught you copy target instant or sorcery spell, Ooh. which will then get copied twice. So I'm gonna ca- I'm gonna target casualties. Right. Yes. So, so But first we cascade. So, so so this is this is becoming quite a stack. <laughs> it's quite a stack. Okay, let's or, cascade. Let's cascade Fury for Fury stuff. first. And right away we got Chromatic Lantern. Not bad. So we're getting a lot of mana here. Um Right, so uh let's So So basically I've got one Fury Storm, two Fury Storm, three Fury Storm from just from Yidris being cast. Right. Then I've got um Two more, two other Fury Storms. From Thousand Year Storms. From Thousand Year Storms. So that's five Fury, that's five Fury Storms. Uh, And they're all going to target Casualties of War. So I get six Casualties of War in total. But Thousand Year Storm will also copy Casualty once itself. So So that's seven in total. Seven Casualties of Wars. Before we announce the target, can I just say I am... Very sad. <laughs> very sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. Always great. say you're sad. <laughs> okay, great. So targets have been chosen. Out of creatures, what did we all lose? I lose my Bladewing the Risen, uh, Scion of the Ur Dragon, and Dramoka the Eternal. Uh, for creatures, I lose Multani, Yavamai's Avatar, and Great Oak Guardian. I lose Gideon's Avenger and Chief of Police. <laughs> uh, now let's do artifacts. I lose my Life Crafter's Bestiary. I lose Everflowing Chalice, an Orzhov Signet. Prismatic Lens, and a Gilded Lotus. <laughs> no other artifacts. Uh, there's no enchantments on the battlefield, oddly enough. That there's one, but I can't destroy it. Cared to tar- right, Heliod. Uh, as far as lands? Ooh, this is the one that hurts. Path of Ancestry, Haven the Spirit Dragon, and Opulent Palace are going to my graveyard. Two basic forests. Irritated Farmland <laughs> and Exotic Orchard. <laughs> Irritated Farmland. <laughs> and there are no Planeswalkers either. So you got six treasure tokens out of that. Not a bad Casualties of War. <laughs> Not a bad Casualties of War, right? Woo! Oh. So you have two mana left. If you have another spell, your storm counts uh, pretty high. You know I do. Uh, I do have one <laughs> card in my hand. Um, now I'm going to cast for... He has it! Two, and then two more. Because those treasures, that, oh, what a great hit. Cass, Dissident Mage. <gasps> Three, four, flyer, that during each of your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. If a card cast this way would be put into your graveyard, you exile it. You so you get to cascade set. again? I cast, I cascade it into a counter spell. Ooh, no so legal targets. that's unfortunate. Targets. No legal targets, so that will, put be, these will just be put on the bottom of the library. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast Ponder. From my graveyard. Okay. So. So cards from the graveyard won't trigger cascade, four. but you're still no. getting. But I'm still going to be able to draw for the one and the four copies. So I'm going to be able to do this five times in total. Five times in total. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. Eggs. All right, great. So I have pondered five times. It is now exiled. So I've got five uh, new cards in my hand. Um, and guess what, guys? Let's just keep it rolling. Yeah, yes. why not? Let's just keep it rolling. Why not? Let's, Let's opt six times. Six opts. Uh, we'll be back after these messages. <laughs> Books. Okay, I have opted six times. Uh, right? Just a cool mm-hmm. 11 cards. A very cool 11 cards. Okay, let's, again, <laughs> keep it rolling guys let's get rid of these treasures all together and let's play explore so we're cascading from explore so we're looking for a one or less casting cost thingy and we got it we got faithless looting so you do that first draw two discard two so yeah we're gonna draw two and we're gonna discard two so this happens uh that doesn't get this doesn't get cascaded no, but it is, it is um, cast. But it Damn certainly right. is cast. So we will <laughs> copy it seven times. I might just deck myself. Oh, yeah, that's not a May, right? No, oh, no, no, no. So, okay. So those are the Faithless Lootings gone. Wow. Now we do the Explorers. Um, 
Which explorer? It was seven explorers. Seven explorers. I can so count explorer right? is uh, you can pay it, you can play an additional land this turn. So I can play seven additional lands this turn and draw and draw a card. So straight up draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll play a swamp. Play a forest. Play an ether hub. Technically, I can play four more lands this turn. Yeah. Play an Is It Boilerworks. Returning a land. Returning Command Tower. Play Command Tower. Of course. So, Frantic Search. Okay, what does oh, this do? So, Frantic, frantic search. search. Draw two cards and then choose and discard two cards. Untap up to three lands. So, that's another storm count. Draw two, discard two. So, you're going to in, in, you're going to do that eight times total. First, we have to cascade to a two drop. Yep. Regrowth. <laughs> regrowth. What's regrowth? <laughs> so regrowth is another storm count, and the regrowth will be copied yeah. six, seven, this is eight overkill times. Now. So you got nine regrowth, so pull nine cards out of your graveyard back into your hand. <laughs> Any cards. It's truly overkill. So we have uh, uh, cast our frantic search. We've resolved it, uh, the number of storm times, according to my storm count here. I mean, how do you guys want to die? I can't wait. I, just the most clear. anarchistic way possible. <laughs> And you've untapped and retapped all of your dual lands. Yes, so your that double I, mana lands, so that it gives you like a ton of mana, a ton 50 of mana. mana yeah. yeah. So I could do a big casualties uh, of war here, which would be very on theme for the deck. But I already did that. That, that achievement yeah, has been unlocked. Doesn't, doesn't yeah. do much I mean, all now. All I have left is lands. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could definitely a land us for sure. Uh, what about instead I cast Torment of Hailfire? A big, to a big torment of hellfire, a very big one. Yeah. Let's just say for thirty, and I'll have a couple of mana left in the old mana pool. And that will copy itself ten, nine times. Copy itself, copy itself nine times. So nine times, times, and I times. cascade. And what is torment? Of a hellfire? bunch from it. Torment of hellfire says, repeat the following process x times. Yeah. So each opponent, well, you'll, you'll do this thirty times. <laughs> each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or or discards a card. So thirty. You're not allowed to do lands. You can't do lands. Great. One, two, three, four. So I can stop four of them. So I take 26 times three. So 70, 82. That's only on the first copy. And that's just copy. off of this copy. It's yeah. going to be copied. So we're actually going to have 10 of these in total. So we will have to do it, I guess, 300, 300 times. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, got let's one, do it. One, two, three, four. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> two. I mean, that's a... game. <laughs> Didn't feel legal. <laughs> Great game, Andy. Good turn. Wow. wow. Yeah, wow. I'm, yeah. I genuinely didn't know that it could actually storm off like that. That was what great. What a clutch hitting that uh, Revel in Riches, though. Hitting cast, That was the like, reason. Clutch. That was the only reason I, yeah, I yeah. Could, could continue to cast stuff. Yeah. It's there, true, because you would have... Yeah, yeah. For half the game, you were just a storm in a pair of boots. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I was, truly. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot wait here to hear tear the analysis on this. Let's go to Sean and Andy in the booth. Great game. Thanks, Sean and Andy. Wow, uh, what a game. We did it all. That was a whole lot of fun. Wow. Wow. Uh, to start us off, I felt it, I felt great falling into my role as the gruel anarchistic player. Normally when we play, play against the cops deck, I don't like the, the corruption in the cops deck. They, they, these police kind of make their own rules but as the, and I sometimes usually when I play against Rob in this deck I try not to get on the police's bad side but this time I was like I'm gruel I'm going for it yeah and uh, uh, snitching right away is a bold uh, plan <laughs> in this game but as you can see it basically worked out for me um, uh, that was a fun role to play which I we never, didn't plan on playing any roles when we sat down to this game but you just naturally fall into it what was Alistair's role in this just b big dragons. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'll I don't yeah. Know. big guy who guy who keeps monsters in his backyard tied to a tree. I don't know. I mean, I was really scared of Ra of Alistair's dragons for most of that game. Oh, that yeah, was a too. huge threat. I was mostly out of gas. I was getting a little bit from my life crafters bestiary, but then I was like, well, I know Andy's got his casualties of war because he tutored for it. I know you've got Thousand Year Storm, but like. What are the odds he's going to get that much out of it really soon? Yeah, well, like it wasn't looking good. I when I did that uh, that green, I can't remember the name of it, the permanent storm, whatever it is. Oh yeah. I, I as I was casting it, I was like, 
there's not that many permanents in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> They're all mana rocks. Yeah. So anyways, that, that didn't work out so well, but yeah. But maybe that took the heat off of you, which led the way for our commander in play of the game. Yeah, the commander in play of the game, I think pretty easy to pick in this one. Uh, it was the storm turn because that all huh. happened in one turn. <laughs> yeah. And, and specifically, I think the luck of cascading into Revel and Riches off of the cast of a casualties yeah. of casualties of war. Yeah. I almost called it casualties of a thousand year storm. So because the way Cascade works, you get that enchantment first and it sees the creatures die, which puts treasures on the board, which allows you to keep that storm train rolling. And getting casts off of one of the one of the one oh. of the draw things that I did oh. allowed me to play ponder from there. Ponder allowed me to get explore. That allowed me to play more lands. That's the crazy thing about explore. I've never like explore, and this is a genius ad because being able to like ca copy explore a bunch of times and then being allowed to play that mitt full of lands that you just drew to give you even more gas to keep the storm train going. I loved it. It was a piece of work, Andy. It was beautiful. Yeah, a lot of fun. And then of course the big uh, cru cruelty. What is it? Uh, Torment card? of Hailfire. Torment of Hailfire. Yes, sorry. Uh, that You know that card way better than I do. I love it. Big X spells. You know Sean. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, absolutely a lot of luck came into play there. I was not planning on storming off. I only had like one mana left after I did that. Oh. You know, like it was, it totally was uh, pure luck. Uh, but sometimes that's what you need to win the game. That's why this is the greatest format in the game's entire history. That's uh, right. I love it. Thanks for watching, everybody. See, See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure you hit subscribe and ding that bell to find out when more videos come out. We've got comedy videos, the CB vlog, deck techs, all kinds of fun stuff. And if you really love what we do, check us out on patreon.com slash commandersbury to find out how to donate to help us produce more content. Bye.